Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products from Focus. I guess what many traders are currently looking at today is the 7% move down in crude oil overnight. And uh, those wild price swings are what's giving uh, West Texas crude the nickname of the Widowmaker right now because if you're on the wrong side of it, heaven help you. If you're able to call it right, however, it's a very, very profitable product. Uh, there's not many other uh, major commodities out there that has such wild price swings, but it does make it problematic to trade, especially if you're not utilizing stop losses in that regard as well. So what's caused those wild price swings? Well, it's news that Iran is not gonna play ball. Uh, they're not gonna cut their production as, uh, as many commentators were, were hoping. Obviously, it's all about market share right now, and it's still so incredibly political. And what makes that move in crude oil even more impressive is the fact that the, uh, the dollar has actually lost a fair amount of value uh, yesterday. Well, not a fair amount of value, but it came off slightly yesterday, uh, which had it been the opposite direction, you'd have seen an even more exacerbated move in, move in, um, in West Texas crude as well. So it has been a bit of a tough one to trade, um, but for those that are feeling quite, quite brave, it can be quite lucrative as well. I guess what we're seeing in other uh, markets is equities have kind of pretty much just stalled after their big rally that I had there on Friday, slowly just slightly drifting down. Uh, not that much activity on there just now. I think most markets are probably waiting for ADP private payrolls on Wednesday, uh, but of course it's non-farm payrolls this Friday, uh, which many people will be waiting for, for more clues as to interest rates in the US. Um, Gold as well is also quite interesting. So gold briefly touched $1,100 yesterday. Not that much momentum. We actually could have had, had hoped that it would have pushed up that little bit higher. And when you consider that we might be talking about lower rates for longer in the US, and we actually had another Fed member come out last night, basically downplaying interest rates in the US. Uh, you've got more market uncertainty at the moment. And uh, also we, have, we briefly talked about the fact that the dollar took a bit of a back seat last night. Uh, gold's not really had that momentum to break up that much higher. So basically, should we see an instance where the markets then recover, like stocks then push up, uh, the thing to watch out for is gold might have an exaggerated move down uh, because it's not pushing up quite as high as you would like when everything's going in its favor. So those are pretty much the common themes uh, so far today. Oh, and also uh, the rating agency Standard & Poor, perhaps unsurprisingly in this environment, have downgraded US oil firms. So that's weighted slightly on the US markets, but not that aggressively. Shell in particular, uh, that little bit hard hit. So let's push on to the technical analysis portion. Uh, and we'll start off as ever with the US 30. So as you can see there, this is our Friday move, pushing up higher, a little bit of indecision yesterday, but still moving down, more indecision again, we're off the session lows, uh, still in negative territory, 82% of CMC Marcus clients are currently short. Moving on to the UK 100, the moves are slightly more exaggerated, we're closer towards potential support around right about 6,012, and uh, we're not that far away from there just now. We did push that a little bit lower yesterday, obviously uh, commodity prices weigh a lot more heavily on the UK 100 than the US 30. 56% of CMC market clients are currently short. Moving on to Japan, 225, just keeping its head, bouncing off 17,635. The other technicals are relatively neutral. We're in between two ranges. This is a level that is gonna be uh, strategically important in the short term. Next potential uh, resistance, 18,531. A move below 17,635 opens up a potential move towards 17,181. And as I said, 56% of CMC market clients are currently short. Moving on to dollar yen, dollar yen's not managed to capitalize on that, uh, on that move that we saw there on Friday. Uh, even though we've had negative rates in Japan, basically Japanese yen is kind of bucking the trend from, from gold. It is a little bit more of a safe haven aspect than, uh, than gold at the moment. Uh, though we have had a bounce off 120 spot 36, 96% of CMC market clients are currently long and their target, Deutsche Bank are targeting 125. The next potential resistance is actually at 123 spot 60. Then moving on to West Texas crude, AKA the Widowmaker. Uh, you can just see the severity of that move yesterday, closing at the bottom of its range, closing below the 21 period SMA. Longer term potential support, 26 spots, 69. Uh, a failure to break anywhere near $35, to be honest. Uh, 31 spot, 53 will be that potential resistance level in the short term. 53% of CMC market clients are currently short, showing a difficulty in uh, picking a direction right now. Moving on to gold, as you can see there, gold has briefly managed to get to 1,100. Uh, it's not managed to, uh, to break through with that much more vigor, but uh, one, uh, 1,131 is a potential resistance. Uh, the next potential support, uh, 1,113, should things retreat ever so slightly. Other technicals are relatively neutral. 79% of CMC Marcus clients are currently short. As I said, if we do see a recovery in stocks, you might see an exaggerated move back down towards 1,113. 
Finishing up with uh, the FX pairs, Euro dollar still trading within this symmetrical triangle formation. It's not remotely interesting until it breaks out either this side or breaks out this, this side. And uh, the, there's big question marks over the March meeting for the ECB. Will they embark on more QE? Will they buy more stocks? Um, will it be an interest rate cut? Uh, that will be an interesting move for um, for the euro, and that's what we really maybe the markets are just waiting for more clarification in that regard. But we're not seeing a huge amount of volatility uh, in, in euro dollar. Obviously, we had this big move there on Friday, but we need to get outside this triangle before we can get some from further momentum. 81% of CMC market clients are currently short. With cable, cable had a great day yesterday, but uh, breaking through. Uh, Potential resistance, one spot 43, uh, trading above that 21 period SMA. has failed to follow through, capitalized this morning. I think one spot 43.51 could be a potential support level to be aware of, and 83% of CMC Marcus clients are currently short. So if we keep our eye on the economic data, uh, we do have employment data from uh, Germany today and from the Eurozone. Fast forwarding onto Wednesday, uh, more PMI data and crude oil inventories. Um, you do have ADP private payrolls as well. On Thursday, you do have the interest rate announcement and employment claims and factory orders from the US. And then Friday, of course, gives you your non-farm payrolls figure and unemployment rate as well. So that gives you a bit of an idea of what to expect in these markets. Well, guys, very good luck with your trading and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next. Thank you very much and goodbye.